Hi Leo, welcome to your Week Ahead Taroscope with me, Raphael, from Radiant Reality. It's an absolute pleasure to have you. Thank you so much for being here. Thank you so much for joining me. Quick note, my readings are for your Sun, Moon and Ascendant sign. So whether you're a Sun, Moon or Rising sign, Leo, this is for you. And I always advise that you watch all three to get a clearer, more complete picture of how they're going to speak to you. With that said, remember they are general readings. Not everything's going to resonate with everybody and that is just fine. You should always use your own discernment. Before we start, as always, I would like to bless my decks of cards with all forms of love, light, peace, prosperity, and abundance. And I pray that the messages that come through are ultimately clear and concise, and they help you on your path to your highest vibrational good. So your key to, uh, before we get into that, um, I just want to say a massive thank you so much for all of your well wishes, for all of you sending your love and healing vibes. Uh, as you can see, I'm on the mend, a little bit tender, but still pretty good. Um, with that, your key to the week this week is the devil card. This week, my dear Leos, my fellow ascendant brothers and sisters, we are being invited to be stronger than our excuses. Wherever it is that you've been giving yourself a hard time, so if there's something that you've been obsessing over, especially with like minute detail and really going to town on what you could have done better and why it isn't working and da da da, like this is the time to release that stuff. This is a time for you to be really honest with yourself about what needs to go. Um, and for some of you, I don't know why, but I'm getting this and it actually feels like it's stuff. If there's stuff that you're holding on to, if there are items in the home, if there are old clothes, whatever it might be, this is a week for you to say, okay, you know what? Now is the time to streamline. Why am I actually holding on to this? Is it something that I use? Is it something that I need? Is it something that is just creating more sort of baggage for me to hold on to? The other thing with that devil card, this is a moment where um, trying to either justify or explain away why you're doing something the way that you're doing it is no longer helping you. It's getting in the way and it's actually, you're like, it's like you're using that as a crutch. Like, well, you know, I do this because of that. Really though, is it? <laughs> so <laughs> with that said, if you are a continued subby, you know Rafi loves you. And if you're new to my channel, please don't forget to like, share. And if you should so choose and it resonates, hit the subscribe button. For your actions and options, we have the five of wands. Uh, this with the devil card, this is a week where giving into a group that either no longer serves, that doesn't help you in some way, or maybe doesn't necessarily help you get the best out of yourself. This is a week for you to really observe who or what you are tied to, right? This, uh, especially with that five of wands, because it's the devil card as well. I'm almost loath to say this week you might realize that you need to cut ties with a friend, with somebody that you are maybe have been associated with or acquainted with up until now. I think this is a moment where you're going to have to be really clear on who made the cut and who didn't. For your communications and conversations, you've got the eight of wands. So we've got a lot of fire here so far, right? Uh, you've got this underneath the devil card. Um, the first thing that I want to say to you is when it comes to your communications this week, there's going to be a lot of it. Lots of coming and going, things are about to get very busy for you and as such, you need to make sure that you are sifting through that information in a way that is actually relevant for you and not through the guise of the Leo loyalty. Uh, what I mean by that is what or who hasn't made the cut don't let that be explained away, right? You. This is a time where I think a lot of you are having to be very resolute about something. And one of the ways that people tend to convince us that, uh, you know, maybe they should get a second chance or a fifth chance if most, if you're like most Leos, um, this is a time where you're having to get really, really honest with yourself. And that eight of wands is very much mentor energy. So in a lot of ways, it looks like uh, us Leos are about to be going back to school. <laughs> right, so get ready for your, um, those of you that are studying or in any form of academia, this bodes really well because it suggests that your teacher, your professor, your lecturer, whatever, um, is really giving you the good stuff. That devil card is quite frankly, I'm going to call you on it here, maybe where you're being a little bit big, uh, not big headed, bull headed. This is where you're refusing to hear something even though you know it's, it's good information. Um, I would say try to watch out for that because um, this will be a week where something is revealed to you where you don't know best and sometimes 
not always, but sometimes it's good to have that experience, right? Because other, if we know everything, we wouldn't be human. We'd be a spirit or a deity or something floating around in the ether. We're here to learn. Earth is a school. Use it as such. Uh, you know, especially for those of you that are literally going back to school in some way. Um, there are challenges here for those of you that are in the learning seat at the moment, and there are going to be challenges. For those of you that are employed by somebody else, this is, um, quite honestly, this is a, a want or a need to complain and it never gets you anywhere. Don't waste your energy on it, right? This is a time, research, like if there's something that you wanna change, if they, like this would be a great week to do the research and do the digging, because that way you can turn that obsession into something healthy. You know, get obsessed with finding things that are gonna back you up. Get obsessed with finding people that can present the same findings as you, but don't get obsessed with just being right because you will lose out for it. When it comes to those of you that are business owners, entrepreneurs, solopreneurs, people that work for themselves in any capacity, that eight of wands is really thinking, it's really, for a lot of you, this is you thinking about where and how you can be more of a teacher, but it's also you starting to think, well, you know, teaching requires really knowing your stuff. And I don't, like, this could be where you're talking yourself out of teaching something because you don't believe that you have the, the skill or the knowledge or the, the know-how. That is a crap story that you're telling yourself and I'm gonna call you on it right here and right now. Let it go. When it comes to those of you that are retired and no longer working, uh, be careful with this week because you could get sucked into some unnecessary drama and I gotta be honest with you, I'm not entirely sure it's good information. So watch out for that. If there's something going on within the family, some sort of friction, some sort of he said, she said, get the origin stories first, right? Go straight direct. Don't listen to the, you know, the hubbub that is caused because of it. For your love and relations, you have the two of cups. This is beautiful. Um, so for those of you that are single, especially because you've got the devil card here, you could get really wrapped up in somebody very, very quickly. Uh, for some of you, it looks like you're already wrapped up in somebody, like, you know, to, to the point where maybe people are looking and then they're like, this seems to be a bit fast, so watch out for that. But there is potential to meet someone. I absolutely really believe that, especially with the five of wands. It could be fun, lots of banter, lots of sort of silly giggles. With the eight of wands, it's talkative, it's informative. Like, it's a really good, strong bond. Just don't jump in too quickly, all right? You're being urged to really take a minute and say, okay, you know what, we'll make the decision when we're in a bit more of a sane ahead. Um, for your, uh, you know, for, and for those of you that are single, if you are connecting with someone, the Two of Cups is really speaking to that energy, like, you know, a potential partner. This isn't just about, uh, you know, like a random hookup or whatever. It's somebody that could actually end up being more. But obviously, if you jump in with everything 100% at the beginning, where do you go from there? Uh, for those of you that are partnered, married, or in long-term commitments, um, I almost want to say, like, this week you should be more insular with your relationship. Like, don't... The reason I say this is because there could either be, like, an envious eye or somebody that is, you know, putting onto it. So keep the relationship and anything that's going on within it that's good keep that well insulated this week, all right? And then for your money and materials, you've got the seven of wands, bloody hell. It's all the wands, all the fires, basically. Um, now, when it comes to your finances, your money, materials, because uh, you've got it underneath the eight of wands, it's, the, it's a backward sequence, which means your finances this week may take a backslide or you're having to really look at getting them it's like you're having to recalibrate your finances this week. And that seven of wands, it might see you ending up having to pay for something that you, you're kind of like, no, why am I absorbing the bill for that? No, no, no. Like you might have to have that sort of conversation or that fight and good for you. When it comes to your physical health and vitality, the seven of wands is your lower back. Uh, no, it's not. It is, yeah, no, actually, your seven of wands is your back, like as in, and it's also your shoulder. So watch out for your shoulders um, and your back this week, like in terms of your physical health. 
uh, don't overdo it is the message there because you've got the devil card which is all about excess um, and then for your uh, home and environment this could home could be a little bit loud this week all right and maybe it's not you causing the loudness but just watch out for it because there might be some oh crap okay there might be some conversations that are had that maybe get a little bit tense uh, you've had three cards jump out so I'm going to do all three of them, why not? Uh, your full moon message, you've got the gate 54 and confusion. This is the full moon in Libra, which technically is your third house. All to do with your locality, neighbours, siblings, whatever's happening in your local environment. You've got confusion, responsibility and control. Something's happening in the family here because the, the responsibility card is literally about your family ties. And I kind of feel like whatever this hubbub is that's gonna be going on, it will either be in your work or in your family sector. Those are gonna be the spaces that you're kind of pulled in directions where maybe for some of you, you might feel like you're being tested for others, you might say, actually, you know what? This is nothing to do with me, I'm, I'm out. Um, but that full moon is really gonna highlight to you where you spend too much time on other people and not enough time on your own stuff. With that said, I wish you an abundance of all of that good stuff. Have a fantastic week. Let me know in the comments how it shapes up. Take care and I'll see you soon.